Chef, it's wonderful to meet you. This is quite hidden away, your restaurant here. Tell me about how it all started. I uh, it started uh, over 10 years ago. I met uh, the, the, the founder of this restaurant who wanted to, uh, to create something uh, special. Uh, try to, uh, to, to bring uh, the food from the, the south of France, uh, Provence, where I'm coming from. And this is what we've been trying uh, to do. Uh, bring, bringing the sunshine to Covent Garden, uh, giving people a taste of their holiday, what they had, you know, the beautiful garden herb and olive oil. And uh, so we are doing a bit of a, a mixture from, you know, Provence between uh, Italy and, and Spain. So we got some notes uh, uh, of this, you know, some burrata, some chorizo, and, uh, and this is lovely. So this is what we cook here every day. And Marcel, tell me about the name itself, because yeah. it's a mixture of French and Italian. Yes. So the name uh, uh, Major, obviously, this is the lake in, uh, in Italy. And Clo, I mean, this is a bit naughty. Uh, this is the name Clo, where I come from in the south of France, the Clo de la Violette, which is a lovely name because it means it's more like a, a secret garden, something just closed. So this is like here, the conservatory. You are arrive somewhere. It's, it's surprising, you know, flower and all that. And we got that, you know, all year around, which is south of France, even if the weather is beautiful, in winter it's still a bit chilly, you know? <laughs> so you want to create a sort of almost secret garden here, a closed place? Exactly. Uh, you know, where uh, uh, food is important, the service, but also the atmosphere. So I think, uh, you know, we need to, to be uh, true on what we want to do. We need to be the whole package. According to Tiny Temper, this is one of his hidden gems and he loves coming here and says it's very romantic. Is that the atmosphere you're trying to create? We don't know that. I think this is people who come here who create their own atmosphere, who, uh, uh, who, who get dressed up or not, or, uh, you know, it's up to the, to the, the guests when they come, to, who that is them who make the atmosphere. And after us, obviously, uh, we are not very formal. We are, uh, 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 you know, we are here to help them to have a, a great time. And this is, uh, this is what we do, uh, you know. So the food uh, reflects that, but not too much. Uh, you know, romantism, I will say, we don't want to, to, to force them to, to put flowers everywhere and romantic. And uh, <laughs> I think they need to be a bit adventurous as well. A romantic, this is what it's all about as well. No? We need to, to try things. So this is what we do. Have you had any marriage proposals here in the restaurant? Uh, we, we lost count, actually. <laughs> really? Yes, because we are not forcing people, but I will say it's quite rare if there isn't any day where there isn't any proposal. Wow. So you are creating a special atmosphere, I think. Yes. Marcel. So, you know, you know, we hide things in a cake, in a little <laughs> chocolate, or, you know, so this is uh, uh, our duty as well to do that, to help people to, uh, to deliver a beautiful memory. That's so lovely. So practically every night here it must feel like so wonderful. Lunch as well. Really? So it's not any business lunches, it's like, you know, there is <laughs> things that are going on here, you know? So if you know, if you're taken to the Cosmo Jury, you know there could be something going on. It might on. happen, yes. <laughs> has there ever been a time when someone said no and everyone else has been like, oh, I can't no. really recall that. <laughs> okay, not yet. I think this is our job by then to make sure we are doing the right thing. <laughs> so what kind of menu do you have here? What can diners expect? I will say this is a food of the sun, food we love to eat when we travel to South of France, where I come from, uh, which is light, which is no, no butter, no cream, olive oil, fresh herb, uh, sunny food, you know, beautiful tomato, burrata, uh, stuff, uh, a summer vegetable, uh, thing, you know, which, you know, we don't get bored. We could, I could eat that every single day and, and, and even want some more. So this is what, uh, what, what we are doing. So we, we cook uh, not only the food we want to eat, but what we want people to try and what they're going to love. Uh, so firstly, all the, the, the awful and kidneys and all that is, I mean, once in a while I could eat that, but it's not what I want to, to give on offer here. So what are some of your signature dishes? I love the rabbit. My uh, rabbit is something is like, uh, you know, this doesn't go out of the, we did doesn't leave the menu. I try once, but we had so many, uh, 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 regulars who, who ask, say, where is the rabbit gone? Where did you remove the rabbit from the menu? So we have to put it back. So it's been on for uh, almost 12 years now. So we went through a lot of rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> and some of your other dishes, chef, that you have? 
Uh, this year, I love the, the, my burrata with beetroot and uh, uh, raspberry vinegar. Uh, very summery, very fresh, very, uh, you know, so this is one of these things. Uh, obviously, this is vegetarian, but you know, that please everyone. It's not just about, you know, uh, not having fish or meat, but again, this is light, it's fresh, we can eat that every day. And the, the, the mixture of flavor, I would say, is quite excited and a, a bit unique on one sense. And what about some of your desserts, the ones where you hide rings in? <laughs> yes, so we got, uh, we got one to share, which we call the, the chocolate sensation. So, you know, this is beautiful uh, caramelized uh, uh, milk chocolate. Uh, with a burn honey ice cream and uh, you know I mean this is this is something really really special so obviously you know we, we do quite a few of these which and who don't like chocolate you know beautiful guilty pleasure again you know I, I could eat that every day and it's also it's very light very very light and what about London in general being a hot spot for different cuisines? Because it was never really known for good food, good restaurants, but now it has become that way. Very much so. It is getting better and better and better. It's like, you know, uh, now you know the Mexican and Peruvian food, and, uh, uh, you know, and it's never going to stop. And, uh, you know, it's like a new restaurant opening every day, every week. Uh, with new food, which is very, very excited. So now, now the food in London, I will say, is incredible, incredible. I will, you know, me, I, I recall when I arrived in UK, uh, you know, like a, a many years ago, going to the supermarket and just seeing a couple of cheddars. <laughs> now we got like 450 cheeses, you know, and the, the uh, London restaurant scene is exactly the same. It's just so many choices. We are spoiled. Uh, you know, when I got an evening and I want to go for dinner, I don't know where to go. It's too many choices now. <laughs> well, can you let us in on a little secret? If you don't go here, which of, co of course is your first choice, where would you go? I, there is one thing I like very much. It's just around the corner. Is the Oyster Bar at Jeshiki's. It's just relaxed, nice bottle of champagne, a few oysters, and, uh, and uh, you know, this is what I like, just relax. <laughs> so you think London has become a hotspot for different cuisines now and good restaurants? Very much so, very, very much so. And there is so, uh, so many uh, uh, French from abroad coming here and, uh, you know, bringing a, a, a different style of food. And uh, which is very, very excited. And most of it is not something that we've seen before, it's something new. And, uh, you know, we, which is lovely. I, we, I, I love that. And I'm, I also, we are part of that. I was there, you know, uh, uh, many years ago coming and doing the same thing. So, you know, which is great. And do you see uh, diners here from all around the world? Very much so, very much so. Uh, you know, we got people booking table uh, like seven, eight months in advance from Brazil or the other side of the world when they book their trip and, uh, you know, which is great, you know. And we can uh, allow them to do that. Uh, you know, we, we don't keep the... the uh, some people, they just open, you know, like three months in advance. So we are very flexible. I think people who want to book their trip a long time in advance, we, we don't want to stop them. We want to let them organize their, uh, uh, their, their holiday, which is great. So now we are very lucky. And visitors that come to your restaurant, when they leave, what is it, the feeling that you want them to leave with? They don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. They, they, they love it. They, some people, they, they book the, the, the table or at the reception on their way back just to make sure uh, they, they're going to come back and very, very soon, which is, uh, which is lovely. We are very, uh, very, very lucky. So we don't want them to go. Thank you so much for inviting me here today. My pleasure, Tanya. Hi, I'm Tanya Breyer, and thank you for watching Trailblazers on CNBC Life. If you want to watch another episode, just click on the videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thank you so much for watching.